get ready. Welcome everyone to my review of my most anticipated figure of what 2018, 2019, and 2020. It's Hot Toys Commander Cody. Obviously, if you look at my profile picture, if you look at my username, Commander Cody is my boy. Uh, he is my number one favorite character of all time. I love him to death. And I already had the Sideshow one, but when Hot Toys revealed that they were making a Cody, it was an absolute no-brainer for me. I maybe had like one day of speculation if I was going to get it or not, but as soon as the pre-order went up, I pre-ordered it. No no hesitation, once, once the time came. And finally getting this figure in uh, the month of December 2020, uh, it's... I've been I've been messing with it every single day. It is, for, without a shadow of a doubt, my top figure of 2020. Um, because some other figures I thought that might be some competition, like the 3A. I don't know if it's 3A or 30. The Soundwave, you know, that's you know that's that's probably not even going to come out this year. Uh, but this thing did come out this year, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, before I even go on to the figure itself, I want to talk about the box just real quick. Because the box is nice, and I like talking about it. Really great image of Cody right there holding the helmet. I love this thing that Hot Toys does with their boxes, where they have, like, this wraparound. I really do like that. It just, it looks nice. And I like how the Hot Toys box is still pretty similarly styled to the Sideshow boxes from back in the day. And uh, then there's the back, if you want to see all the credits and everything. And then, unlike Sideshow boxes that had those, uh, the nice, like, magnetic flaps, Hot Toys boxes... This is my third Star Wars hot toy, I think. Yeah, it's my third Star Wars hot toy. Uh, you open it up, and you're greeted with, like, this cool poster thing, which someday I might actually decide to frame these. This one especially. Oh my goodness, I love it. But yeah, you just take that down, and you can see how he's packaged in there. I still have all the plastic just kind of <laughs> loose. But that's how he's packaged. That's how he comes. The, the coveted boy. Now... Let's talk about him. So probably the part of this video we're going to be talking the most about is the accessories. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the details first, just the details of the figure. Uh, let's just start from head to toe. Let's talk about the helmet. Uh, he does come with an unmasked head sculpt, which we will give uh, definitely give attention to. But this is his helmet, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at all of the details, all the scrapes. His visor, you see that? His visor is a little dirty, too. Uh, they definitely paid so much attention to the detail, the sculpt, the proportion, the paint of Clone Commander Cody's helmet. This is undoubtedly the best Commander Cody helmet that has ever been put to actual physical form, in my opinion. Uh, I, <laughs> I have absolutely no complaints with this helmet whatsoever. Um... And as we're going along, I guess as we're going along, I'll make some comparisons to the old Sideshow. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram of it, but here is the old Sideshow helmet. Just showing you. Um, you can see the old Sideshow helmet's not bad. Um, I think I might show it on the figure a little, uh, a little later. Uh, it's not bad by any means, but you can definitely see that there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of years and experience and, uh, uh, everything they're separating it because look at this like this still looks good but this is on a whole other level like this looks real this still kind of looks like a toy uh, so I mean I still love this helmet I still think it looks great but this is perfect uh, and then going down you can see his chest has all the scoring all the marks he's got his uh, clone marshal commander badge on him look at his shoulder pad that is a separate piece by the way the antenna and that does that is metal actually that the stem of the antenna is metal um, the shoulder pads are actually separate pieces um, kind of strapped onto the shoulders which is really nice compared to the sideshow um, this piece on his arm here is actually a separate piece you can actually take that out if you wanted to uh, I don't know why you would I'm not exactly sure what that is if anyone knows please let me know that's a detail of Cody that I'm not really uh, too familiar with then his jetpack oh my that is definitely impressive. Uh, it just, it looks so good. It just really does. Um, and it does come off magnetically. You can see. And look at all the detail just underneath it. You'll never see that. But they put so much detail. And it's so, it goes on so nice and smooth. It doesn't clang on whatsoever. Then the belt. Look at that, dude. Look at, look at the thermal detonator. 
There's like all these oil stains in between the crevices of the costume. Like just looking up and down the arms. It looks so good. Let's get his arms kind of out of the way to see his torso a little better. Just look at that. You just, you really got to appreciate this thing just for a little bit. And then his rifle. Might as well talk about his rifle right now. His rifle is absolutely gorgeous. Um, he does come with other weapons. But his DC-15 rifle is absolutely gorgeous. And while we're talking about this, I want to bring in the old Sideshow one. Um, I'm not sure if this is exactly Cody's Don't Kill Me. Um, or if it's another Troopers. They're pretty similar. But the Sideshow is way thicker and fatter <laughs> of a rifle. Um, it's uh, It definitely has a lot more weathering on it. Which does kind of look a little forced in my opinion. Looks like they're forcing a lot of that silver dry brushing onto it doesn't look as natural as the uh, as the hot toys these little knobs on the top of the the gun you can see the detail on those is just way better on the hot toys to me I just like that way more like they're kind of molded onto this rifle but they're actually separate pieces on that one it is just it's not night and day the sideshow is still a good a very good piece but man you can I would have been disappointed if the hot toys didn't blow it out of the water okay because hot toys has had way more time to evolve their action figure engineering. Like, look at that. Even just kind of getting him unposed. That pose still looks amazing. Dude, this guy poses so great. Let's go down his legs now. Like, look at his thigh armor. Oh my gosh. This thing is just remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. I gotta take it off my stand a little bit. You can just see, look at the knees. Like, in the base, too. I think this is like a reused base. They use it for a lot of Hot Toys figures for sand. But I think it works good for Utapau. And it does have kind of molded in footprints. Here, let me just lift Cody up a little bit. So you can see it has molded in footprints. And it does have a metal nameplate for Commander Cody. But you don't need to have his feet on those footprints, in my opinion. Um, he still looks good if you just have him in any, any pose. And the cradle works great. I trust that cradle. I really do. It's a really good cradle. So, that's pretty much the physical details of the actual figure. I mean, it's just... Oh my gosh, I love it. So, after just going over all that, um, let's talk about some of the accessories, because he comes with a lot. Let's keep him in this amazing pose. So, he currently has an open, uh, an open left hand and a trigger finger hand, but he also has a thumbs up hand, which is nice, but it's just for a left hand. Please take note of that. He has a pointing hand, which is just for a left hand. Please take note of that, but still, all the detail is retained. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Then he has an open hand for his right. Please take note of that. I think that's like the blast him hand. So that's really good. And then, pretty much his last hands. He has a left trigger finger hand, and he has... A right sort of that could have been the blastum hand. I think that's the blastum hand. Yeah, I think that's the blastum. Uh, <laughs> and then speaking of blastum, he also comes with his DC-15 carbine, which looks great, but oddly enough, in my opinion, is not as good as the sideshow. And let me tell you why. So it still looks great, right? But we bring in the sideshow one, which, like the rifle, uh, my old sideshow Cody was holding it, like the rifle is still. Uh, kind of fatter looking but you can see the sideshow one it gets loose after a while and uh yeah it's not good but the hot toys is nice and firm for now um but the thing is this is loose because it actually folds around and becomes like a stock that's the actual function of that piece of the weapon however the hot toys doesn't do that there's not enough clearance for it it seriously cannot do that uh which i find odd uh, it's definitely an odd choice on Hot Toys' part, but oh well. And then you have a couple DC-17s. You get two of them. You get two of them with Hot Toys' Cody, which is nice. And not really needed, but appreciated. And here's the old Sideshow one for reference. Honestly, I'm going to say it. I think I kind of prefer the Sideshow. But they're pretty similar. They're pretty similar weapons. But then... Then you get a whole other alternate arm, which we will talk about this, and I will put this on the figure... Uh, an alternate arm with the hologram, while with Sideshow, you just got an alternate hand. Uh, and then, with this hologram, 
Of course, you have some options. Well, actually, you didn't need options, but they gave them to you. You have Darth Sidious, and comparing him to the Sideshow version, you can see they're pretty much the same. Uh, definitely different sculpts and all that, but honestly, no real difference in quality. So yeah, there's the, uh, the Emperor, but you also get General Kenobi, which is a really nicely sculpted piece. Ew, I got... Yeah, I just washed my hands, too, and I still got stuff on them. Yeah, there's General Kenobi. And then, no one could have survived that fall. You have the Airborne Trooper. Which, oddly enough, uh, Airborne Trooper, they have these lines on them to kind of simulate the, sim simulate the kind of the waving of the hologram. But the Trooper doesn't have the, the waving on the helmet. And then this is an odd one, but an appreciated one. You get Yoda. That's kind of cool. Um, not really needed, but appreciated. Um, but, the whole reason this is an alternate arm, why can I not say words right today? It's because, let's bring Cody in here. You just take the arm off. Uh, you can see the arm just comes off like that. And he has been de-armed. So let's kind of get him in a different pose here. Oh no, his backpack totally, completely fell. Uh, a little bit of a warning. It's easy to knock the backpack off. Let me go get that. I'm glad that happened, because just a heads up, it's easy to just knock off. Just showing you real quick. Um, like, if you decide to hold him like this, it's so easy to just knock it off. So be careful with that. But I also forgot to compare Hot Toys and Sideshow for the jetpacks. Hot Toys, definite improvement. But, after you pop that off, then, um, you can just put this on, but it also lights up. That's why it's a whole alternate arm. So the instructions aren't very clear with how to separate this. I initially thought that whole seam would completely separate the entire panel. But no, it's just the lip of the armor. So you just kind of lip that, then that comes off. Put a couple batteries in it, which are included. Flick it on, and there you go. It lights up pretty bright. So the quality of the light through the characters is varied. Um, it definitely lights up Palpatine very nicely. Uh, it lights up Yoda very nicely as, as well because he's smaller. But the Airborne Trooper doesn't get too much light because of how his uh, feet are separate. And Obi-Wan's kind of similar because how his legs are kind of hollow in between. But we'll have Palpatine in there for obvious reasons. Because he's actually the only one that uh, cinematically makes sense. Get that arm on. Which is a pretty easy fit. And then one complaint. I wish that the peg, how the arm attaches to the uh, elbow, I wish you could swivel it on that peg. Because unless you get it in a certain position, it's always going to be crooked. Like, you can't have it close to his face, because it's always going to be crooked. So it has to be in, like, a certain position with the arm and everything. And always has to be at, like, a certain angle. But just look at that pose. Let's kind of get his legs a little closer. Let's kind of... Like, just look at that pose, man. That is intimidating. That is amazing. Let's kind of get his arm back a little bit. I'm like that sideshow how to be a poser thing. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. We'll get into the articulation and all that on him later. But for now, let's just undo that. It's kind of unfortunate with this because it's so, it's so nice that it lights up, right? But no one's going to keep it on because the batteries are going to die or the LED is going to die. So let's just talk about the figure itself real quick. Um, he also does come with a couple other final things he does include. Um, and I should probably set him back there while I talk about these. He comes with a couple extra pegs in case you need those, which is very appreciated. Even though the sideshow ones, just showing you, uh, all the pegs are actually already attached to the hand. So you get plenty of extra pegs with the sideshow. But just a comparison here of the armor details on sideshow versus hot toys for the hands. There you go. Um, but, one last accessory we cannot forget. And let's just show it on the body. So let's take the helmet off. Definitely be careful wiggling it off. Um, don't squeeze it too hard. And this is a separate piece, but it's still very fragile. That could very easily break someday. I know my sideshow's <laughs> my sideshow Cody's broken right there. But let's get the Tamora Morrison head sculpt on. Because, oh my goodness is it a thing of beauty so this head sculpt is perfect uh there is nothing wrong with it <laughs> um it is perfection 
Uh, in my eyes, it looks exactly like Tamora Morrison. It is absolutely stunning. Look at the scar. Look at the eyes. That is simply amazing. The dimples in the skin. The ear has like a three dimension. Like it almost looks like there's an ear hole at certain lightings. The hair looks so good. There's no real visible seams or anything. It, oh my gosh, this head sculpt is perfection. Absolute perfection. I have, <laughs> I have no complaints with this head sculpt. But we got to have a little laugh, right? We got to bring it in. Got to bring in <laughs> the old sideshow head. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks so bad. The old sideshow head is simply... I've, I've never been a fan of it. I've never liked it. I've always thought it looks cheap. I've, I've just never liked it. Like, even look at the hair. Look at the difference in the quality of the hair sculpt. And, like, the skin and the likeness. It's just... It's night and day. Almost all the other sideshow versus Hot Toys comparisons are like, Oh, they're both good, but Hot Toys is way better. This is night and day. This head is not very good at all. The new TVC ARC Troopers and Wolf have a better head than this. The old 2002 Django Fett from Hasbro has a better head than this. Anyways, uh, let's... Uh, I do want to make one final comparison between the Sideshow and the Hot Toys at the very end. Um, but now is time we talk about the articulation on this guy because he's pretty nicely articulated. So both heads function about the same. Um, moves up pretty good. Moves down great. A lot of nice tilt because the neck's on a ball peg and the neck's on a ball peg. So you get pretty much all the head range you, you could ever ask for. And I guess, let's pop that off as much as I want to see it all the time. Uh, let's show how the helmet articulates. The helmet's... Dang it, there goes that jetpack again. Helmet's a little scary getting on, um, but it's honestly... It's not scary, it's just not as easy as the head. Um, so the helmet articulates pretty much about the same you get it back and forth side to side that helmet moves perfectly the shoulders definitely something to talk about and no we're not going to have a repeat of the scout trooper uh hasbro review with this uh because i'm very careful with this thing so the shoulders like i said the shoulder pads are on separate pieces this time so they move up about that far they do have pretty nice butterfly joints and they move forward about that far before i think the costume and everything's going to stop it he does have a bicep swivel, and he has double-jointed elbows. That one, I would say, this elbow goes a little bit over 90 degrees. But this elbow, because of how it detaches, I would say only goes about 90. The wrists are on um, the kind of standard universal pegs where you can kind of hinge and then swivel them around. You get pretty much all the range you really need out of that. The waist this time around, however, the sideshow waist, you couldn't really move at all. But this waist, with how they engineered it, where there's like a break in the armor, you can actually twist. You can actually give him waist articulation. You can actually give him a crunch. Be careful with this piece of the armor hitting that piece of the armor, um, because sometimes I've been moving him and I hear like a snap, and I'm like, what's that? But it's just, you, you hear that? It's just uh, that piece of the armor. So be careful with that. Uh, and then the legs, I would say they move out about that far. The joints on this guy, by the way, he feels so much better than the, the sideshow. He really does. Um, this Hot Toys, like the bodies they use are so much better. Unfortunately, the legs don't go very far forward, which is unfortunate. I don't feel like I could get him in a very nice kneeling pose, which is something that I feel like I could do with the sideshows. The knees, uh, I would say those bend pretty great. He does have a thigh swivel, of course. Uh, and then he has... The sideshow style, or the Hot Toys style of like the double ball peg feet, which is way better than what uh, the sideshow did. So, articulation on him is pretty great. I think it's pretty much better than the uh, sideshow in every regard articulation-wise, besides the hips. Um, but yeah, it's pretty great. And if you want to see the sideshow in detail, check out my review of the sideshow figure. Because uh, I'm not going to go over everything again. Um, but I did review sideshow Cody. But it's about time we do that full body comparison um, and talk about some things that the Sideshow actually does better. So here's my Sideshow Cody. Um, I have him with his Phase 1 helmet currently. 
Uh, and I'll take that off. Don't worry. I'll switch it out. But yeah, uh, the height difference is because of the bases. Don't worry about that. But um, the sideshow, the plus is with this one, is that he comes with that phase one helmet. And this is how he will be displayed forever for the rest of his life. Because he has that phase one helmet. So he can really be distinct from the hot toys. Uh, and then another bonus is the hips. The hips on this guy just move so much more freely. Like seriously, they can go way more forward. The suit just feels more nice. But this body is kind of crickety and rickety and kind of scares me. But you can see, you can get them in a kneeling pose. I don't think that's possible with the, side, with the Hot Toys. But when it comes to pluses, um, the only other thing is his accessories. Because the, si the Sideshow came with so many more. He came with so many more uh, pose hands. Like, seriously, he came with so many more. He came with thumbs up with both left and right. He, he, he just pointing. Like, he just came with way more hands. Um, and that's kind of a shame. But at the end of the day, you can't really be too mad. But one thing that's kind of upsetting is that the Sideshow came with these... I have the dropsies today. <laughs> the Sideshow came with these feet, which look phenomenal. And they, they're actually bent. Some people are like, oh, that's kind of useless. But for me, I used these. I like these feet. Uh, and it's a shame that uh, that's kind of something that died with the Sideshow clones. But after that, that's pretty much where the... Uh, the pros with the sideshow come to an end here let's swap the heads one thing i can say though sideshow heads swap way easier i'm not as scared about swapping the heads i'm just gonna say it uh so sideshow versus hot toys in this regard uh the armor is connected to the actual torso armor which eh let it you can see how it's sticking up after having him in a dynamic pose for so long uh the body feels more rickety um his joints are definitely looser like he just he feels looser his torso like beyond just a swivel with how they did the armor you just really can't move it beyond just a swivel um the armor doesn't feel as durable plastic wise uh, and of course the details like just look at the details on them you can tell one came out in like 2011 2012 and the other came out in 2020 <laughs> like you can tell I mean, I still love the Sideshow. I still do. And he still has a place in my collection and in my heart as one of my favorite collectibles of all time. But the Hot Toys in this particular instance pretty much beats it out entirely. Uh, it just, it looks way more natural. It looks more dynamic in a lot of poses from the waist up. Uh, it just, it looks more alive. Uh, and a lot of the details, I mean, you can see left and right. Like Hot Toys, Sideshow. Like, Sideshow's still great. It's just not as detailed. Um, but my Sideshow will forever, from this point on, live on as my Clone Wars Commander Cody on my high-end 1-6 shelf. Maybe one day I'll get Waxer and Boyle to put alongside him, like how I'll have the Airborne and 212th alongside him. I don't know if I'm going to get the Hot Toys Airborne and 212th, because I love the Sideshows still. Um... But the bodies on the sideshows, though. My sideshow Airborne has a good body, but my 212th Deluxe has a horrible body. Simply the worst out of all my sideshow clones. But yeah, um, I don't think there's too much else to talk about. Was there anything else I really wanted to mention? I mean, you can see detail differences just from here. You can see detail differences. Uh, this is plastic on this, and I feel like it's way more fragile. Like, you can see how it's wibbling. But that, because it's metal, I'm not... Like, you really would have to snap it to get that to break. But still definitely be careful with that piece, because on my sideshow, that is actually broken. That did break off when it fell off a shelf once. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there we go, man. There's my boy. Let's let's get him in a nice pose here. Here, let's keep, let's keep his, his younger self. O older self, younger self? What do you want to call it? Uh, <laughs> let's keep him in the back. So there we go. I don't think there's too much else I wanted to mention. There is Hot Toys Commander Cody. My figure of the year, hands down. He's so easy to pose, too. Like, that took two seconds. That took two seconds, man. My figure of the year, hands down. Hot Toys Commander Cody. Uh, if you're a fan of Commander Cody, like I am, if you're a diehard, I cannot recommend him enough. He is a dream come true. He is my favorite Star Wars piece in my collection. He is my favorite Commander Cody collectible. 
this guy is in like my top three favorite things I own. I love him to bits, to death. He is amazing. And I cannot emphasize enough how much this thing is simply a dream come true for a Commander Cody diehard fan like I am. If you're just a casual Star Wars Hot Toys collector, um, you don't need him. C Cody's not a very integral character. I can't use words today, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> he's not a very important character of the saga. He's not like, oh, I need Cody on my shelf. No, you need Vader. You need Luke. You need Anakin. Those are the characters you need. You don't need Cody. Uh, but for me, he's worth the $250. Uh, it's kind of crazy, though, how the sideshow back in the day only cost around $125, something around that, and this guy cost like twice that. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's crazy how the prices have gone up on these things, uh, but honestly, the quality has also gone up substantially, and like I said, I can't recommend this enough. So there we go, there's my extensive review and comparison of the Hot Toys Commander Cody, and also looking at the Sideshow again. If you do want to see more of the Sideshow, if you feel like you don't know enough about the Sideshow in comparison to the Hot Toys, please check out my individual Sideshow Commander Cody review. It will be in the end cards at the very end of the video, it'll be there. Um, I, I love it. I don't have much else to say. Alrighty guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.